In the next four chapters, we will have look on film effects simulation and rendering. Film effects for Cinema 4D is a very useful fluid simulation plugin. I personally like its result a lot. Plus, it has efficient simulation time. Currently, I am using film effects more frequently than Turbulence FD or XP Explosia. You can check out details about this plugin on their website. And also you can download demo version to try it out. Link you can find in video description. Film effect simulation I will render with Redshift and I will use ACCG color management. Scene contains one area light and sphere. For faster workflow, I am using my custom layout. Film FX plugin you can find in extensions menu. Film FX contains three important categories. Sources, Forces and Simulation Grid. As first step, go to the Film FX preferences, where you have to define output path. As second step, you have to choose simulation source. It can be simple source without object, object source, or particle source. As particle source, you can use standard C4D particle system or X particles as well. For this example, I will use sphere and its object source. And as you can see, Sphere has been automatically assigned into the objects field. In case that your objects field is empty, drag and drop source object into this field. As next step, define object type. This option is affecting simulation behavior. Source sections are very important because here you can set up balance between amount of fire and smoke or basic forces as well. Amount of fuel and oxygen, primary control fire part. Temperature is heart of the simulation and is important for fire and smoke as well. Smoke section controls amount of smoke. In case that I do not need to simulate fire or smoke, I can easily turn off its contribution. Film FX is able to add colors into the simulation from textures or vertex paint. And this option I will show you in different chapter. Velocity, ND bias and turbulence section I am using as basic forces. As next step. I need Film FX Solver. Its simulation grid, which controls simulation area and parameters. So be sure that source objects are inside this grid. As next step, go to the viewport section and activate GPU viewport preview. In general section, you can define simulation area and resolution. Spacing is actually voxel resolution. Smaller spacing values produce larger simulation cache, but more detailed results. Larger spacing values are very useful for fast computer response, so it's speeding up creative process. In channels section, you can include or exclude exported channels. In path section, you can see now where you will find your simulation cache. That's the reason why as first step we define main output path. Also, if you prefer VDB output instead FXD, you can easily change extension in default field. Once you will type VDB instead FXD, it will automatically change format for all simulation outputs. 
If you would like to render your simulation with motion blur, don't forget to add velocity channel into the exported channels. In simulation section, we will set up solver's precision and quality output. In system section, we have control over forces such as gravity, vorticity or turbulence noise. In fuel section, we have control over fire simulation parameters. In smoke section, over smoke simulation parameters. And in temperature section, we have control over temperature simulation parameters. Color section you will need if you would like to have visible colors coming from textures or vertex colors. In velocity section, you can sharpen or soften velocity values. In extra detail section, you can choose mode which will produce additional details. Always check out that object source field contains all source gizmos or colliders used for simulation. As next step, we are ready to start simulation. It will open simulation window. And in 3D viewport, you can see now how looks simulation. Fire and smoke colors you can control in the rendering section. But for rendering and lighting, we will use redshift. So we can ignore rendering and illumination section. If you are using wavelet turbulence for extra details or post-processing super sampling, you can control these parameters in WTP section. FumeFX plugin contains also very detailed documentation, where you can find all details about simulation and its parameters as well. In the next chapter, we will have look on fire simulation and rendering.